Hello and welcome to another episode of Differential Calculus with Sir R Squared. In this video, I will teach you how to graph a function using a Casio calculator. If you find it very tedious to assign values in a function to plot a point, here are some easy steps that will help you save a lot of time and avoid mistakes. We will start by getting the calculator, then press on. Now to reset the calculator, we are going to press Shift 9 and then 3, then equals and then AC. And then we are now ready to operate. Press mode and then we are going to choose number 7 for table. Now it will ask you the function. If you have a given y is equal to 3x squared minus 2x plus 3, we will simply input this function in the calculator and it will be the one to give us the corresponding points. Let us try to do that. To input 3 and then x is this one, alpha x and then squared minus 2 alpha x plus 3. Now, we're going to press equal sign. The calculator will now uh, ask, where do you want to start? If you want to start, for example, from negative 5, and you want to end to positive 5 as your x values, and all you've got to do is to press equals, and then press equals again. There you have it you will have your x as negative 5 and your f of x or your y will be 88, negative 4, 59, negative 3, 36, negative 2, 19, negative 1, 8, and 0 to be 3. Now we will have 1 and 4, 2 and 11 for f of x, 3 and 24, 4 and 43, 5 and 68. So I have here on the next slide the graph of that function. If you can see, we can easily graph the function by uh, inputting the function in the calculator and the calculator will be the one to give the points correspondingly. This is negative 5, that is 88. And this is negative 4. Approximately, this will be 59, negative 3 and 36, negative 2 and uh, 19, negative 1 and 8, 0 and positive 3, and so forth and so on. So this is how easy it is to plot the points of a function using Casio calculator. I hope this one will help. Thank you and may God bless us all.